Are you sabotaging your own happiness? Hi, my name is Mark Webb. I'm the marriage specialist. And today I want to talk about nine things that can have a great impact on whether or not you're going to be happy in life. Because a lot of times people unconsciously are sabotaging their own happiness, don't even realize they're doing it. Abraham Lincoln had a quote that said, people are about as happy as they make their mind up to be. And uh, interesting, a lot of times people never really make their mind up. So number one is, you know, realize that happiness is a choice. If I was to ask you which do you choose, do you choose to be happy or sad or frustrated or angry, you know, that you'd say you need those other than happy. I want to be happy. Well, then you got to consciously make a choice, that's step number one, that I, I do want to be, in fact, happy. Number two is, are you focusing too much on the negative? Um, I've always heard this kind of compared to um, a gold miner. You know, a gold miner, he's always looking for gold. And he may have to go through a lot of dirt um, as he's looking for the gold. But he doesn't focus on the dirt. He's looking real keenly for the gold. And I encourage you, similarly, to focus on things that do that, that makes you happy. Uh, don't focus on things in your life that frustrate you or aggravate you. Put your energy more into the happiness and this choice that you want to have of being happy. Number three uh, is, do you care too much about what others think? Now, I think to not care what people think is a bad attitude. Um, and a lot of times people do this to their own detriment. Um, but, you know, you you got to... I want you to care, but don't care so much that you neglect yourself. Always trying to put other people's needs first uh, and always neglecting yourself. Number four, similar to this, you feel like you don't care enough. Because, see, sometimes people have conditioned themselves to just become apathetic. Uh like they just the bitch would say, you know, I don't care or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. And they have said this so much that they've hypnotized themselves into being uh, just a an unemotional type person or an angry person. Number five is, are you always preparing for the worst? Um, you know, there's a a lot of people believe that you know by preparing for the worst. Um, if it happens, then I'm ready for it, and so no big deal. But by actually preparing for the worst or expecting bad things to happen, you're actually setting it up to happen. Um, because whatever you focus on is what you draw in. So if you're expecting bad things to happen or expecting life to never be fulfilling, that's how it's going to be. But if you start think, expecting that life is full of great um, happiness and joy, you will actually start seeing more and more opportunities to lead you towards that. Number six is... <clears throat> You know, you hung up on your past mistakes. You know, most of us have made mistakes that we regret. And a lot of these you can undo. Sometimes you can right or wrong and move on, but there's some things you can't do anything about. And if that's true, don't get so hung up on these that they become like shackles that hold you to the past and help you, that prevent you from moving uh, into the future and enjoying a good present. Uh, number seven. Do you avoid change like the plague? Um, a lot of people, that, that's part of their hypnosis also, is they're saying, you know, I hate change, I can't stand change, I'm, I, uh, uh, I avoid change. Uh, they're always shirking this, and as a result, their world becomes very small, and their world actually shrinks, and they become comfortable with fewer and fewer situations. So if you're one of these people who um, are caught up in that, um, you need to stop saying that. Sorry, my mind went a little bit blank there. Uh, number eight, have you forgotten how to smile? So a lot of people, they've become so conditioned in their um, flatness that they may even be happy, but on the outside, they have this kind of resting angry face or resting kind of flat, uh, unemotional face. I remember a long time ago, this is like in the early 1990s, I heard the martial artist Steven Seagal, he was in an interview, and the interviewer said to him, uh, he said, you never smile. And Steven Seagal, he thought for a second, he said, well, I'm smiling on the inside. When I think that's true for a lot of people, they may be happy on the inside, but I want you to train yourself to smile on the outside. And something I tell people a lot of times, tell my clients, do everything, you know, like 15% more. And in this case, um, smile 15% bigger. Start showing more of that on your face because motion creates emotion. Lack of emotion also does. And number nine is um, you compare yourself too much to others. Uh, the, the bad thing about comparing yourself to others is 
sometimes you come out ahead, most times you don't. Because there's always going to be somebody who's better and there's always going to be somebody who's worse. And you can kind of keep yourself in uh, limbo by always doing this stuff. Your job is just to be the best that you know how to be and allow people to be the best they know how to be and let's all try to get along in life. So hopefully, I've kind of rushed through these, but hopefully these are giving you some things to think about. How do you fall with some of these? And are you sabotaging your own happiness? Because uh, I want you guys to be happy. Um, I'm going to put a link below that um, it's from my website, themarriagespecialist.com, where I provide a lot of resources available. There's a ton of articles with bullet point uh, tips like what I'm sharing today. Um, there's a couple of hundred articles on there, actually. And there's also other resources like my free five-day Save Your Marriage Challenge, which is something that swept the country um, and has had tremendous impact, not only in the United States, but in Canada and over in Europe as well, where it's five videos that you get, one a day for five days. They're in 40 to 55 minutes in length. And the first one is 15 different mindsets to help you be a more positive partner. Number uh, day two is 25 powerful, simple to apply strategies to strengthen the connection between you and your partner. Day three is to help you stop the patterns of arguing and bickering. Day four is um, how to set goals for your relationship. And um, number five is how to develop emotional mastery so that you're somebody who can stay cool, calm, and collected regardless of what's going on. And there's other resources available on this website as well. I would encourage you to check them out. And you may say in regard to this five-day challenge, well, you know, I'm not married. I'm not in a relationship. Hey, this stuff is set up that even if you're not, there's benefit in it to help you maybe in the future. Um, and if you are in a relationship now, I guarantee you it will help you. So anyway, look into that down below. Thank you um, for watching. And if you hadn't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you. Embrace your greatness.